special parade celebration for our Olympic and Paralympic athletes. And while they're speechifying over there, we have managed to land ourselves in the darlings of this year's event. No, it's not it. No, well. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Enjoying it would be an understatement. This is just, uh, I think, blowing away the whole team to see the support out there. Uh, the streets like of Montrealers cheering us on this many months after the Olympics to still really feel the Olympic fever. It's just incredible. I think I've been doing some cheering. I think I was doing some pretty good screaming off that float, too, actually. Yeah. Well, it's certainly been very hectic since. Vancouver. Um, I guess it's changed in, in the way where, I mean, there's Canadians all the time from the East Coast coming up to me and just expressing their enthusiasm uh, yeah, for the Olympics and it's really an amazing thing, you know, to see all the kids inspired by the Olympics and to think that these are going to be our next Olympic champions, you know, it's, it's really amazing to be in that position and I just remind myself every day how fortunate I am here to be here, to have had such an incredible team behind me right here in Montreal. I've had PG-10 who took me the position to go for another medal and I just every day feel really fortunate to, to be a part of Team Canada and to be able to live on my dreams. When I look back over the last four years, there are definitely some difficult moments. Um, in 2008, I took a year away from competition and I did reconditioning and basically learned how to walk again and uh, rebuilt my body from the ground up with Scott Hudson and Dave Campbell. And um, yeah, really rebuilt my body. Um, well, before the Olympics, it was absolutely wild. I was in the gym three times a day, six days a week. Um, and yeah, it was really intense. And uh, you know, definitely, I just didn't want to have any doubts. I didn't want to be standing at the top of the Olympic course saying I wish I could have done more. So for me, it was uh, really exciting. I mean, it was really tiring. <laughs> I was probably napping between all those training sessions. And, and it was difficult, uh, but you know, when you have a good team around you, it helps you keep the motivation. Um, so I've had Dominic leading that team, Dominic Goche, my coach, was just incredible. And, and that's where, you, you know, when you're tired, it's those people you rely on. And we've already made a lot of important changes in the sports system. Uh, you know, we've said we want to go for excellence, and we've built the program to support excellence. And that's why you see a, a, an Olympic team more successful than in the history ever before in the history of our country. So. There's a lot of exciting things that have come out from Vancouver. You know, the government is uh, continuing to support all the podium programs, like P210 will be there for guaranteed another six years. So it's pretty exciting what we're building for the next generation of, uh, of Olympians, but also just inspiring people to be active and to get out there and, you know, and, and to move. Well, speed skating is an individual sport, but the relay is the where there's more pride because we work as a team. We, we race in this uh, individual uh, before, but we are as a team. The relay was the one where all the coaches were all alone together, was showing to all who were the best. And that's what we showed, we showed that we won the goal and it was the best one ever. I'm gonna say that maybe I lost some legs since I started, uh, stopped skating because it was a few weeks ago, but uh, no, uh, but short trackers are uh, pretty small and basically because uh, uh, if you're too tall it's a little bit harder to skate. And, uh, uh, if you look at the size of the speed skater, I'm one of the biggest. Uh, I'm 5'9 and uh, people are way smaller than me and uh, yeah, that's how speed skating works. For sure, St. Catherine is a busy street, but not as busy as it was today. So it was it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun to see all the all the space. Everybody was so happy. There were so many people out there it was really I mean Ariel is definitely you know, I think I'm biased of course, but to me it's the best sport in the Olympics. We get to we get to ski into a jump and uh, 70 kilometers Thank you.